it is critical for our humanity on a global scale in every country around the world that we fix these things, that we, we rehumanize one another and not dehumanize people based on whether it's borders, whether it's ethnicity, whether it's race, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the, one of the, the tools that we use is um, a mentorship program we call, and, a, and a program we call relational dialogue. And that's basically building that mutual understanding. A lot of times hatred and discrimination comes from fear. And I think a lot of people don't quite realize that it's fear of the unknown, it's misunderstanding, it's, it's things that one doesn't understand about other people and other races or other cultures. So fostering those opportunities for mutual understanding, for bringing people together, what we found even through our research and our, and our work is those have been some of the most powerful life altering changes that we've been able to uh, help foster for, for individuals is connecting them showing them look here's the community that for, even for my in my own story connecting with the jewish community who was the community that i vilified the most when i was involved in this stuff it was connecting with them and learning about their culture and and all, i felt like all the things that i thought i knew were absolutely the opposite they were wrong so with we can do that with one another and introduce people to others that they might not have uh, met in everyday life or that they've blocked out that they've not allowed themselves to meet when we can do that and bring people together you're going to see transformative change and that relational dialogue coming into effect mm -hmm.